Hi there, welcome to another Podio training video. I'm Nick from Income Digs. Today we are digging into a kind of an advanced technique, but one that really helps out with the user interface of Podio. So we're gonna be automatically creating related items right from the app that we want to relate to. Okay, so kind of advanced, there's a few different ways to do this, and I've found that one of the best ways to kind of force compliance with usability is to use web forms. Okay, so I'm gonna show you both ways and um, the, the latter being the web form, which I think is a really strong, tight way to create related items. All right, so join me here in Podio. What we're gonna do in the sample workspace is we're going to take the scenario where I'm on a deal, for example, like a deal or a lead, and I wanna create an appointment without leaving that lead, okay? So let's say that I'm right here and I want to create an appointment. Well, the, the way that you would do it without building anything is you'd leave, you'd go to appointments, you would select new item, new appointment. You would indicate the deal, the type, the date and time, and who's going to it, okay? So that like kind of works, it's, it's fine, right? Um, however, the problem with that is you gotta click around, right? You could get lost. So, and we're bringing in a markdown table here of my appointments, okay? So when they come in, they're gonna show up there. Okay, so what can we do about this? Well, for one, we could do this, and this is kind of like the old school way of doing it, where I put in a date here, a date and time, and then I click here to trigger, and then I use Globy Flow to create an appointment. So let's do that. I'll show you what that looks like, and that's fine, um, but I wanna try to do it even a little better. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one. And basically what I'm gonna do is within Globy Flow, make sure you refresh, I'm going to do a new flow that every time that trigger is updated, trigger new appointment, okay? So every time the trigger create new appointment has been updated and it doesn't equal blank or it doesn't equal null, okay? So it's not equal to not set. Every time that happens, I'm gonna create a new item and this new item is going to be in the appointments app, okay? I'm gonna relate it to this exact deal here. The type is going to match what, whatever my trigger is the meeting date and time is going to match exactly the date that I put in there. And then the attendees is gonna be whoever made the revision, okay? So if I click the button, I'm gonna be the attendee. Okay, so I'm gonna create that new appointment and then I'm going to reset my triggers, okay? So I'm gonna update this item to be trigger create appointment is unset and I'll make that date unset as well, okay? So that's like a nice, easy app. So let's see if that works. Okay, now you might wanna make these hook events if you have other things happening on the other end. I don't, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, so let's try that. Let's put in a date. Let's say we have an appointment for Friday at 6 p.m. Okay, now nothing happens yet. I didn't trigger anything yet. Let's put an end date to that as well, 7 p.m., sure. So now when I click this, we should see an appointment get created, okay? So I'll click that trigger and let's see what happens, okay? So we can see that that appointment shows up right here, okay? So it worked, that's great. And if I refresh this, you'll see that those have zeroed out, okay? So that's cool. What I don't like about this, however, is the fact that I need to obstruct my deals app with these fields, okay? It's kind of annoying. And if you had other criteria, you, you could have even more fields. The other thing I don't like about it is I can't make anything required. For example, if I were to click contract signing without a date being in here, the system's gonna create one without a date, unless I build in my Globy Flow a bunch of validation, don't do it if this is blank, if that's blank, which you can do, but I don't like that. So if I were to do this, I would imagine we're gonna see one come up here as like undefined or something, let's see, or maybe it won't even come up at all, I don't even know, but um, maybe it even errors. Either way, I know it's not going to be correct. Yeah, it probably didn't even, maybe it created one, but my, my table's not right because it doesn't have a date. Let's go to the appointments app and check. Regardless of what happens with that, I'm going to show you a way that I think is even better. Yeah, it looks like it didn't even create one, okay? And if I go to my Podio log, let's see. Yep, one error there, so it had an error in that um, 
yep, meeting date was blank. So I didn't even create one. So I'd have to build in my Globy flow like errors and all that kind of stuff. And that can be annoying. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna use a web form. Okay, we're gonna use a web form that we pre-fill with this deal. Okay, so we can get rid of all this junk. So let's look at that. So the first thing you're gonna do is with the app that you're creating and let's make a nice neat web form. And I think Podio web forms will work just fine for this. Um, I don't really think we need to use any external system. So let's go to our web form and see what that looks like currently. And I might've been messing with it a little bit already. Yep. So what I like about the web form is it follows the required fields that are in the, um, the item. So my deal is required, type is required, my meeting date start and, and end and attendees are all required. So that's cool. So that would work. So I could just kind of bring this link in and then um, every time I want to create a new one, I just go here and, and do it. But here's what I don't like about that, okay? The user will have to indicate the deal every time, okay? And we'd like to make that faster and we'd like for that to be pre-populated, all right? And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today, all right? So let's kind of start with the, the way that it's not pre-populated. So the way I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna take this web form, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna build a hyperlink to this web form within the deal, okay? And I'm gonna get rid of these, these other fields while I'm at it because again, to me, this just convolutes everything we're trying to do. We're trying to have nice, neat apps without uh, extra stuff in them. Okay, so let's bring in a calculation field and I'm just gonna call this create new appointment, okay? Now this is going to be a, um, this is going to be a hyperlink, okay? So if you're not familiar with how to make hyperlinks, we have quite a few videos on them when we talk about nav links. So I'm gonna be doing that right here, okay? So to create this hyperlink, I'm going to do, um, I'm gonna write create appointment. I'm gonna bring in, actually, I don't even need to end that, yep. Create appointment, just like that. Okay, so that should work. However, like I said, it's not going to pre-fill. Okay, now, and also what I would recommend you do here is hit the command button if you're on a Mac. It opens it in a new tab. Okay, cool, so that kind of works, but now I gotta click and I have to select the deal. So we have the ability to create this item. However, the user could potentially put in the wrong deal, all right? So what we wanna do is we wanna make this link intelligent to what deal we're working on, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do with that is we're gonna bring in a hidden field and it's going to be something that we populate with Globy Flow. It's going to be the item ID. Now this is not the unique ID, this is the developer item ID, okay? So the developer item ID, I'm gonna make it a single line, I'm gonna make it always hidden. The developer item ID is something that we can find right here. So it's this thing right there, the item ID, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a simple flow to automatically populate that item ID whenever a new deal is created. Now I'll make it a manual flow. What's cool about a manual flow is I could actually run it for all my existing items, okay? So it's gonna be really simple, update item. Uh, did I refresh? I did not refresh yet, okay? So I'm gonna need to do that. So let's refresh and come back. My, my new field isn't there because I didn't refresh. All right, so now let's hit that refresh button. There's the item ID, okay. Deal Podio item ID, it's right here, okay. So I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to run that every time a new deal is created, okay. Um, so I'm going to trigger a new flow, populate item ID, and what I'm going to do to make sure I get this existing one, I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to hit the down arrow, click run, and if I put zero in here, it's going to run this flow for everything that exists in my deal items. Be careful with this. If you have thousands of items, it's going to take forever, but for me, I just have that one, so it's going to update really quick. So it's right there. Cool, right? So now I can reference that in my calculation, okay? So how am I going to reference that? Let's, let's think about that and let's, let's get uh, a little advanced here. So I'm going to open the appointments app up over here again. We have that URL, okay? Um, now, 
I know, so there's my URL, right? Now, what's really cool about how these URLs work is that we can kind of pre-fill this in. We can put in the, the deal, and I'm gonna show you how we do that. The first thing we have to do is find out what that field's called. So we go to the app and we go to the developer, um, the developer right here, and it's gonna list our fields out and give us the field ID. So deal, it's this long one right here, obviously used to be something else. Now the, the ID, don't think of it as, oh, I don't like the name of it. It's whatever you name the field when you first bring it in. So I used to call this field link to sales pipeline too, right? But now it's not. So I'm going to copy this, okay? And I'm gonna take this URL here and you saw I put in this question mark. If I put in question mark and then I put in fields, open brackets, copy my field and the brackets and then equals. And then if I go to my if I grab that item ID, uh, whoops, let's see here, can I copy this? All right, notice how it pre-populates it there, okay? So I did that manually, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna make my URL, I'm gonna now bring this into my URL, okay? And then I'm gonna add the item ID to it, all right? So again, kind of advanced, but just stick with me. It's actually pretty cool. All right, and, and all the calculations and stuff, you're gonna have them in the comments. So let's go to my create new appointment. All right, so what I'm gonna, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust this URL. So now it, oops, uh, I, I just wanna add that on there, okay? So, okay, so I adjusted my URL. Now I'm going to add, I'm gonna close my quotes, I'm gonna add the item ID, and then I'm just gonna finish it off by finishing the parentheses. Okay, so now you can see what it's gonna look like. So it's gonna bring in that web form, plus it's going to bring in that field, okay? And it's gonna bring in the item ID and finish it off. So what I wanna see here, is now when I click that to create a new appointment, I want it to pre-populate the deal I'm in. All right, so I'm gonna click here to pop it open into a new tab. And look at that, 122 Buffalo pre-populate. So I no longer have the potential of my users having an error and putting in the wrong deal. They don't need to fill that in. All they need to do is fill in these required fields. What type of appointment is it? Okay, what's the start date and end date, right? And then who is the attendee, okay? Now, what you probably want to do, <laughs> I'm thinking about this now, is we want to have that be a drop down. So that might be something we, we work on. Um, and, and hopefully we get the opportunity. I'm not sure if that would have, yep, there it is right there. Okay, so it worked because I typed it in. We, we would want that to be a drop down. But the beauty of it is that it pre-populates and we can still maintain required fields. And I don't need to, to you know, set this whole thing up with a bunch of empty apps. And what I encourage you to do is whatever you decide to do this for, let's say that we're doing it for like create an invoice, create a bill, create an appointment, create a text message, create an email, just have one field for it and separate them by uh, vertical breakers. And then you could have like one field to do all that stuff with. It barely takes up any room at all, okay? One thing I'll recommend is maybe we, um, we adjust upon completion of that web form. Maybe we bring it back to the deals app all right, so I'm gonna copy this URL. All right, let's go to our appointments app. We'll go to the web form as well. Okay, now on the web form here, we would do after submission, redirect to a URL and just indicate what that URL is, okay? And now every time we, we fill it in, it'll, it'll populate us back to uh, Podio, okay? So that's it. That's a really cool way to you know, quickly do things. And then you see I bring in a markdown table to show all my appointments. I encourage markdown tables for really anything that is, um, really anything that is a many to one relationship. So I could have many appointments to this one deal. So a markdown table works great for that. 
Okay, so let me know your thoughts. Let me know your questions. Again, a few other applications for this if you want to do it for text messaging, uh, emails, invoices, bills, offers would be a good one too, like create a new offer. So uh, give it a shot and let me know your thoughts. Everything can be do pretty much within Podio with a little bit of Globy Flow as well. Uh, so if you're interested in this and in, in all the, the tips we have available, check out all the free resources available at IncomeDigs.com. Also sign up for our VIP waiting list for the Podio Crash Course. So that's coming out soon. We're going to really build out an amazing course that shows you everything you need to know to set up Podio for your business. Okay. Any questions, put them in the comments or email me directly, nick at IncomeDigs.com. I'll see you in the next video.